Moondream is a new vision language model that is very small in size and it can operate with less than 6 GB of memory. This is the model that can be easily deployed on edge devices for a variety of use cases. Imagine satellite imagery with a drone or you have got like edge devices in a production line. This model is really good for certain tasks, but it is not a GPT-4 vision level model or the Claude 3 Opus level model, but this model has its own purpose in this particular world. So I would like to take you to Moondream and then explain what is Moondream. And then we're going to see a couple of examples of how Moondream performs. First of all, to start with, I would like to quickly show you a demo of uh, this question. So I uploaded this image and asked which CEO looks like this. And it very correctly answered Elon Musk. Um, I don't know if you agree, but uh, this is kind of Elon Musk. So what is Moon Dream? Small sized, a uh, tiny vision language model, VLM, or you can call it a multimodal model because I've got two modalities. One, you've got images. The second, you've got text, especially if you're going to work with video clips, Video clips are like, let's say a 30 frames per second video clip is 30 frames at the end of the day. So if you want to process 30 frames of images, this is ideally easier because it is faster. It takes less compute. Moondream is a model that is built with Phi 1.5 and also SigLib. So it uses Phi 1.5 and SigLib. And the Moondream, the latest version, Moondream 2, has been trained using Mixtral, M-I-X-T-R-A-L, Mixtral's synthetic data so the synthetic data has been trained developed created using mixtral and that data has been used to train moon dream 2 it's not massive improvements if you see between moon dream 1 and moon dream 2 but the idea here is that these incremental in in improvement should ideally help in how moon dream actually works and the way you can use moon dream is quite simple and easy if you have got Hugging Face Transformers, you can load the model from Hugging Face Transformers and you need two supporting libraries, Tim and Inops. And all you have to do is like how you typically take the model and the tokenizer and then you just have to pass an image and then get the response back. If you have enough interest, I'll create a Google Collab Notebook separately. Please let me know in the comment section and we can explore much more use cases about how to use Moondream. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test Moondream with a variety of images and also live webcam for us to see how Moondream actually works. Okay, let's start. Uh, so the first thing is this demo is available for anybody to play with. You can go ahead and play with this. The code is available here in the file section and you can also see the linked models if you want. So you can check what the model is linked and you can start using it. So the Moondream here is available within Hugging Face Model Up. If you want to download the Moondream space Hugging face spaces where the live demo is available, that is also available here. So let's go to the demo, which I'll link it in the YouTube description for you to directly start with. And we can go simply here and upload an image. So I'm going to upload an image. I'm going to start with a very simple image. I'm going to just upload this image and ask who is this? That's it. Now what I'm expecting, I'm trying to take a, a measure of how the models understanding capability with real world entities like this is ideally a real world entity or in a sense like it should have a knowledge that this appears in a cartoon aladdin so let's see if it does uh, a cartoon character is depicted so it doesn't specifically say aladdin so let's ask one more question does has has it appeared on any disney is it aladdin disney uh, cartoon let's see and uh, submit okay it says yes the character is a part of Disney cartoon Aladdin and is known as Aladdin the genie. Okay, so it has done a pretty good job of explaining. But you want a vision language model of not just like asking OCR kind of question or a image recognition kind of question. You want to build on top of it. So let's try out another example. So I want to upload this image. Uh, so you can see that it has got three glasses. One, no, almost very little water. The third one, slightly on the higher end of the water. And then finally, we have got the middle one. So I'm going to ask which glass glass has most water submitted. So the glass on the right side of the image has the most water as it is filled to the top. Okay, cool. Now let's see if it just like came out of fluke like a guess or it has like sense, which sense is not the right word. I don't want to call it sense, but um, yeah, which glass has the least water and then ask the same question okay glass on the far left has the least water as it is only a quarter full the glass in the center of the image contains half of the cup 
it's even though it is not a quarter full but it does a good job of explaining that it has less and then the the middle one has got a half and the one to the right has got full okay cool can you write a poem about this let's see if it can write a poem about this it technically is not a poem uh, it just ex it is just explaining okay cool that is fine. load the image and uh, is the lady shopping so this could be extremely helpful if you have got like video frames and uh, you want to understand how many people are actually shopping how many people are not shopping are they picking up something okay let's see what is she holding clothes okay um what is on her wrist i don't know if it can identify or it, whether it is going to hallucinate let's see she has a watch i wanted to see if it okay it says watch the the watch on her wrist is it is it a digital or an analog i'm not sure if it is easy to identify from the given image i guess it's an apple watch um, so it should be ideally digital like smart watch but maybe even i could not see okay the it says analog watch which is incorrect what is the lady wearing on her face i'm trying to have non leading question okay the lady is wearing a white color mask okay face mask that's okay that's good so it it kind of understands overall okay what what is in what is in the background shelf uh, i don't know if it can identify that it has got bags purse it says purse okay fine it's, it's got purse and all the things so this is how you would ideally end up using the model you would give the model an image and then you can have a conversation or like let's say like very simply like let's say you are you are you have a food delivery company and uh, something is broken people are uh, raising a request saying that something is broken so you want a model that can quickly identify what is broken and describe what is there like for example egg is cracked okay so you ordered something um, recently happened to me i ordered six eggs one of the egg shell got cracked so i have to raise a complaint now typically they need a human being to come and validate whether one of the egg is cracked next time when my egg is cracked i'll probably take a picture and upload it to the image but the idea is here is that you can use this model to identify and that is what we are going to do in the next section instead of this i'm going to just enable my webcam okay click to access the webcam and once the webcam is like you can see my webcam is active so i'm going to show you a bunch of thing and ask a question the first thing is let's let's ask this okay what what is this okay the image is selected what is the man holding i look i look very sleepy in this a man is seated on a chair holding a water bottle in his hand the background features a lamp on a wall the image appears to be have taken in a room okay so the question that i wanted to ask is uh, is the bottle open or closed so this is what i meant like when you have like food delivery uh, it says the bottle is open um, but ideally technically it should say that the bottle is closed okay let's try let's try one more thing i've got a very dusty cap here it's quite dusty um, i might probably start sneezing at this point and um, okay let's take a picture i've taken a picture of this describe the man holding wow it's too dusty at this point man is depicted okay hoodie holding a cap in his hand the cap has written a text on it what is the text on the cap sai computing okay uh, sai okay it it says sai computing it's not sai computing it technically says cisco but again that is that is one more thing like how you can ask a follow up question um what okay let me access the cam again um, just to say that um, i'm going to show you one more one more mouse what is this man is on the wheelchair sorry <laughs> wheel man is on a chair wearing glasses and holding a mouse okay the man is holding a mouse it does a pretty good job okay now a final thing is comment okay holding a mobile phone so as you can see the potential here is that it's not a cutting edge model or a gpt4 level model but this model 
does a pretty good job of what it is supposed to do, especially if you're going to deploy this on edge devices. And the inference speed is quite high. Um, again, like let me know in the comment section if you would like to see a collab. So no, we know what is the inference speed on T4 and we can see how we can also optimize it. I've got a Raspberry Pi lying down somewhere here. So I bought a Raspberry Pi long back and uh, it is getting dusted off at this point. So maybe at some point I should try to deploy this model on Raspberry Pi and then see how it does. But again, that's um, le let's see if, if there is an interest for it. But other than that, I, I, I guess this is an absolutely brilliant model for what it does. And uh, I'm a big fan of uh, these small, tiny models that can be deployed on edge devices because there are a lot of brilliant use cases with which you can actually build a bigger brain. And uh, I'm uh, definitely looking forward to hear your thoughts. Uh, how do you feel about this model? See you in another video. Happy prompting.